Arby's Day at the Zoo. One day, Arby went to the zoo to see the animals. At the entrance, she met one guard. Upon entering, she heard a loud roar. She turned around to see two lions in the cage. Move. Not far from there were four elephants taking a mud bath. They were a family with mommy, daddy, and two cute baby elephants. As Arby explored more, she ran into a big cage with trees. Jumping on the trees were five monkeys. Arby was hungry and sat down to eat in the zoo cafeteria. Opposite to the cafeteria were six peacocks. A little further, she ran into a pond. Swimming in the pond were seven ducks. But that wasn't all. On the other side of the pond were eight turtles. Near the zoo's exit was a dense area with many trees. Perched on those trees were nine parrots. Just before leaving the zoo, Arby saw ten owls sitting on a single tree. She had never seen so many owls together. Amazed with the sight, she came back from the zoo and repeated the number of each animal she had seen. Don't cry. Screeching, screaming, the baby cries. In a cradle on the floor, the baby lies. Mommy sings him nice lullabies, but the baby still has tears in his eyes. Hearing the cry, Daddy wakes up and opens the door. Smiling, he says. Hey, little champ, your cry is louder than my snore. Mommy gets him a cute soft toy, hands him a teddy bear to enjoy. But the baby doesn't cease to cry, be it daddy, be it teddy, or a nice lullaby. Then mommy takes a look at baby's nappy, and says, "It's Wee Wee. Now I know how to make you happy. Let's change your nappy. Oh, don't be shy. Dry and soft. The new nappy won't make you cry. Once mommy is done with the chore, baby smiles, sleeps, and cries no more." And the tortoise. Once upon a time, a tortoise was walking on the road. A hare saw him and started laughing loudly. Ha ha ha! Look at you! You are so slow. The tortoise got angry and challenged the hare to a race. The hare immediately agreed, saying, "Why not? I'm faster than you." I can beat you any time. On the day of the race, the hare and the tortoise arrived at the starting line. The tiger waved the flag to signal the beginning of the race. The hare ran very fast, while the tortoise slowly followed behind. The hare was quite ahead of the tortoise in no time at all. 
he saw that the tortoise was walking slowly far behind him. The hare was so sure about winning the race that he decided to take a little nap under the tree. While the hare was dreaming, the tortoise continued walking slowly and went ahead of the hare. The hare woke up from his nap and saw the tortoise reaching the finish line. He started running, but it was too late. He couldn't reach there before the tortoise. The tortoise won the race. The hare started crying because he had lost the race to the slow tortoise. Moral of the story? Slow and steady wins the race. And the grasshopper. One summer's day, a lazy grasshopper was chirping, singing, and enjoying the sun. The grasshopper saw an ant working very hard to gather food. The grasshopper called out to the ant, Stop your silly work and have fun with me! No, replied the ant. I am gathering food for winter. I suggest you do the same. But the grasshopper simply ignored the ant. The grasshopper spent the rest of the sunny days having fun. When winter finally began, the grasshopper couldn't find anything to eat. He searched for food everywhere, but everything was buried under the snow. He remembered the hard-working ant. He went to her house and cried. I am hungry. I cannot find anything to eat. The ant felt pity on him. The ant called the grasshopper inside and gave him food. The grasshopper ate happily and promised the ant that he would never sit idle in the days before winter. Moral of the story? Be responsible and prepare for days of necessity.